Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. The trident flies high above the field of battle as Bretonia faces off against the High Elves. Bretonian forces are being led by Shetland Apache, and the forces of the High Elves are being led by Riffle Shuffle. So for the Bretonian forces, of course, we have Albert de Bordelot. He is bringing the Bray de Bordelot. Uh, we also have Foe Seeker, Hero Killing Blow, and the Wrath of Manon, a nice little wind spell, giving a nice uh, leadership debuff. That could be just what it takes to break a pesky infantry or otherwise cav unit. Uh, we also have a Damsel of Life bringing regrowth and earth blood. And then for the front line, we just have five peasant mobs kind of just spread out across the field. And behind them, we have some spearmen of arms on the far flanks with a couple of men at arms spaced in the middle. Uh, we also have some two mounted yeoman units for the skirmishing force one of which being the wardens of montfort uh they do have poison damage so that'd be very good for any cab engagement since there isn't any peasant bowmen with pox arrows on the field for bretonia the rest of the mobility forces are so a pegasus knight we have two knights of the realm on the far right flank we have some royal hippogriff knights in the middle with alberic a very dangerous flying unit um, for Bretonia, and then on a far left flank, we have two Knights Errant, and that will wrap things up for Bretonia. Now, take a quick look at what the High Elves have brought today. We have the Heralds of the Wind, uh, Lyran Reavers with bows. Um, so, this is a uh, you don't often see that uh, unit there, you just pretty much generally see the base unit. We have a noble on his chariot, and for the um, other leadership department we have a mage of life which looks like we're bringing uh earth blood and we have Imric on his horse with his fire fireborn flanking him and it looks and take a quick look at what he has brought today and we have um of course we have the lord of dragons which is a nice hex around him so that'd be very good for a cab engagement minus 24 melee defense and minus 40 melee attack and of course he's bringing the dragon horn a map wide uh, essentially a wa for the high elves Giving a nice buff to melee attack. So for the rest of the units, we have the War Lions of Trace. But for the front line, we have some Spearmen on the far left flank. We have a couple of Ranger units. We have some White Lions of Trace. And in the back, we have a Spearman unit. A couple of those protecting the Archers from the rear, which we have three of those. Well, two Archers and one Lothurn Seaguard. And we've already seen that we have the Fireborn and... The Herald of the Winds. And that is going to wrap things up for the High Elves. So let's get this show going, shall we? Uh, definitely the mobility department is going to be in the favor of the Bretonian forces, but the frontline engagement and the ranged forces will be um, favored towards the High Elves. So yeah, as long as the Fireborn and Imric are able to kind of stay clear of such units such as Alberic and the Royal Hippogriff Knights, uh, they'll be doing all right. They are getting in, trying to shut down these archers fairly quickly, but they are going to be getting sandwiched a bit by a Spearman unit uh, and these White Lions of Trace. And actually a Peasant Mob has almost gotten through a uh, little lapse in micro, um, but the Heralds of the Wind have also kind of tried to pin in these two units here as the Archers fire in, but they'll be able to tank that damage fairly well uh, as now Albrecht is moving towards trying to get some damage off on the White Lions as they did quite a bit of number on the Archers. Well, it looks like we actually had a uh, unit over here completely break. I'm guessing that was just another peasant mob. Uh, quite the force for the High Elves in that department. Uh, the Wardens of Montfort are actually taking quite a bit of Archer fire right now and are going to be routing very, very soon, and there they go. If we take a look to the frontline engagement, the Knights Errant are engaged with some Rangers and the Noble. The Noble will be able to hold off fairly well, but yeah, the Rangers are getting beat down pretty quickly with this. Especially the Men-at-Arms uh, will do well against them, especially with the help of the Cavalry. But yeah, we also have, yeah the uh, Heralds of the Wind are firing in, doing actually a very decent amount of damage onto the Royal Hippogriff Knights. They are at six models. Uh, and it looks like they are getting, yeah, they are getting a regrowth on them, so that's going to give them quite a bit of healing. Uh, it looks like one unit is kind of stuck down um, amidst the Fireborn, but it'll be able to get up and do fairly well. And the Fireborn have gone around pretty much unscathed. So it looks like actually the Peasant Mob have actually gotten onto the Heralds of the Wind, but they are in uh, guard mode, so they're just firing in. Though they are going to want to be moving as the Knights Errant are starting to come in. 
Uh, so we take a quick look at this. So, the, yeah, the Knights Errant, especially with the other Knights of the Realm, sandwiching this unit of the Herald to the Wind. Uh, very good catch by the Bretonian forces here. Uh, that'll be off the field very, very quickly, as well as we have also some support of the Pegasus Knights in the rear. But now the Hiles are starting to get a little surrounded by the mobility of Bretonia as everything is kind of collapsing around them. Especially, yeah, these uh, cavalry units are now shattered. So, yeah, so in the center of the pocket here, we just have some spearmen, which will do fairly well against kind of the infantry, uh, but not overly well. The Fireborn are doing very good work against this unit of the Knights of the Realm. Um, really... Uh, knocking them down they should be routing here pretty quickly and another unit of knights errant is also going um the way of the hills uh, so that is a very good uh, kind of catch by the high elves being able to whittle down the mobility advantage of bretonia here as it looks like the high elves are um taking the lead right now in the balance of power if you take a look on the far flank we have uh, these war lions are getting caught out, um, and these rangers are getting really separated as well by the um, flying units of the high of the Bretonia. And Bretonia's next bet is probably going to be to get this white lion unit. It is very isolated. There isn't really any support, and that looks like exactly what Bretonia is going to be doing. They're going to be flying down. Uh, the war lions do see this at the last second and try and turn and face these wardens to kind of salvage as much as they can. But they won't be doing very well, especially with Albrecht right there. I think these Wardens really need to pull out now that they are. this unit is caught and let the Royal Hippogriff Knights and the Pegasus Knights do their work. So yeah, now actually Albrecht is trying to get this Mage of Life off the field, which will be a very um, big help. Um, we make sure that these Fireborn, Imric, are really now would be out of healing, but we'll see how things go. As it looks like an Earthblood is able to kind of catch the White Lions and Imric and the Mage of Life. So really not a whole lot of damage done on the Mage of Life, pretty much essentially none. Uh, looks like uh, the uh, wind spell from, um, that is the Bretonian wind spell that uh, Albrecht carries. I'm not really sure if that was really the best place for that. I really didn't catch a whole lot and then that uh, discouraged effect really isn't going to be much of a benefit there. And yeah, I think yeah, definitely these Knights Errant units and Knights of the Realm, they definitely need to be pulling out here. They don't want to be facing the Fireborn without the support of their flying units. Though Bretonia, they are kind of pulling these Fireborn away from the rest of the High Elves. And I think the um, High Elves do realize that and try and regroup their forces around uh, their archer units and spearmen. So that, uh, yeah, Bretonia wasn't quite able to get these White Lions off the field. And now, I mean, they could probably much waste the ammo of the Slothner Sea Guard and archers might be a good play. Uh, otherwise, I think they're going to want to wait for the rest of their forces to regroup. They do have the Damsel of Life chasing off these rangers. It was a very good play. Uh, she will be a little out of range to cast her spells, but a little delay won't be too bad. As it looks like we have a Earthblood going off on this Noble, getting him to He's not that much healing, just about 300. Uh, but these, yeah, he did a good amount of work to these two units of uh, cavalry. I think he was trying to push them off the field. But right now, uh, Bretoni is kind of going in for a little strike, trying to get some damage on the Noble and pulling out as quickly as they can as these Fireborn now approach. So once again, uh, you're getting the Fireborn. I mean, they're still in range of the Archer support, but they are kind of pulling them away from the rest of their cav as uh, we have a full health, uh, what is it, Knights Errant over there and a Knights of the Realm. So they can very easily take advantage of the Fireborn being pulled away and come in and get these archers or these uh, white lions. But yeah, I think the Hiles are once again uh, regrouping their forces just as the Royal Hippogriff Knights and the rest of the cavalry forces collapse on the position. Um, I think because the Fireborn here are going to get a very nice counter charge, and I think that's going to be the good engagement that they want. Yes, they're sacrificing their archers here, but they were able to kind of really pounce on these. Uh, the Revenant of Knights have been able to get off, but uh, Knights of the Realm uh, the, and these Pegasus Knights have really gotten sandwiched by the Fireborn, and I think that's that was a very good engagement uh, for the High Elves in this case, as Bounce Party is still in their favor. A couple units out in the wings here, but it looks like we have another... Um, wind spell coming in from Bretonia and uh, once again there's not a whole lot that was right kind of wavering uh, if there's any wavering units that they would have broke here that would have been very very helpful uh, but otherwise I think maybe having that wind spell go over along this flank here a little bunched up infantry I think may have done well but I think you try and pick um, pick off some of the spears 
It looks like the Royal Hippic Knights are approaching starting approach their healing cap. They still have they have five models left, and Albreak is pretty much on full health as they get a nice kind of cycle charge in. So they were able to disengage and kind of re-engage where they needed to. And actually, yeah, the Fireborn, uh, they take quite a bit of humbling from those Royal Hippic Knights and Albreak combo. Uh, so, which was initially a very good engagement for the High Elves, turned to be um, just what Bretonia needed to get really that very dangerous unit off the field. Because right now, you just have Imric and the Noble, is really everything that's left that can do a whole lot of damage. I mean, you get the Spears and stuff, but that isn't that big of a threat in comparison to Imric and the Noble. Because the Noble would be able to, is a very powerful unit, able to cycle charge and get stuff in. Um, but yeah, I think definitely, even though the uh, balance power is very even, I think Bretonia does have a slight edge. Uh, Hypocrite Knights are at their healing cap, but we still have quite a bit of mobility on the Bretonian side. As the Pegasus Knights are coming back just four units, but a little uh, healing off on them could do a quite a bit of work. But it looks like Albrecht's taking quite a bit of damage, actually. Uh, Amrick was really giving it to him, and Albrecht just wasn't able to return the favor. And the Mage of Life and Emmerich do chase him off, at least for the time being, while he kind of pulls off. And it looks like it's just Faux Seeker, just to get a little extra speed to get on out of there. And another Earthblood going down on this group of infantry. Uh, not a whole lot left. Oh, but that um, Alpha Strike by Albrecht takes a huge chunk of health off from the Noble. Uh, it was a very good charge, and the Albrecht does need to pull out here, because he doesn't want to be stuck in with um, Emmerich there, as he learned earlier on. Looks like now the infantry are kind of committing to the engagement uh, for Bretonia. They're trying to tie up these spearmen, do as much damage as they can. These knights errant do need to get out of that engagement. They do not want to be in prolonged uh, um, fighting with those spears. Yeah, these knights of the realm are very low, but the noble is terrified right now. And if uh, Bretonia is able to uh, make sure that he routes, that's going to be massive for them. But he will be returning any second now. Uh, but now he is isolated from Imric. And a nice strike in here could be just enough to break him. And he would be. And if uh, Bretonia then would be able to be able to essentially isolate him and push him off the field. He is routed just as the Earthblood goes down. Uh, we'll see if Bretonia has anything close by to make sure that he stays off the field. Though Bretonia is definitely taking advantage of the balance of power. And I think it has to do with how low Albrecht is. And actually, you now the Mage of Life is going to um, the way of the hills. And Imric is just left to stand alone against Albrecht and the Royal Hippogriff Knights. Now, I think Albrecht needs to pull out of there, let the Royal Hippogriff Knights get a full surround off, let these uh, Mountain Yeoman fire in, and then just get rear charges in with him. But I think he needs to push off the Damsel of Life and really see if he can get a nice um, strike on this Noble. He does, routing it again, and that should be enough, and it does go down. Balance Power creeping back in towards an even as the end of that damsel life just wasn't able to get on top of that major life in time and i think that major life yeah takes quite a bit of damage off that charge from the um high elf variant as this engagement here with imric and albrecht is really good going to be a defining factor as it looks like the at least the infantry of the high elves has won the day against bretonia but it's going to come down to imric versus albrecht and the Royal Hippogriff Knights. So if they're able to route off all of the leadership of the High Elves, these Royal Hippogriff Knights are going to be such a pain for the High Elves to contend. And yeah, Emmerich is running now, and I don't see a way where he's going to be coming back. There's too much mobility close by here with, with the same speed, if not more, uh, to make sure that they don't return. So yeah, the uh, Damsel Life is pushing off the Major Life, and Alric will be pushing off Imric. And uh, there might be enough spells left for another heal. I know Albrecht still has quite a bit left on his healing cap. So a single regrowth will just push that balance of power very much back into Bretonia's favor, which it has been in the High Elves for pretty much the entire way. And I think so far the biggest crux of the High Elf was just that they let their units get a little too separated from the rest of their forces. I know they got pushed off a little bit, and I think it was a little bit of a chasing game where the Noble went off and they tried to save it. Um, and that just pushed them too far away from the rest of their infantry, uh, who are now all of, out of ammo. So they just pretty much are stuck waiting as, yeah, Imrek now does go down, and the balance power is very much now in Bretonia's favor. And if we take a look at what the High Elves have left, it is, they have spear units, and I believe this is the Lothan Sea Guard and the White Lions. Uh, they'll be do very well. I mean, it is anti-large, um, but all that the... Bretonians have to do in this case, and it looks like yeah, it was just an earth one going off. It's 336 hit points, which isn't nothing. Um, but it doesn't look like they have any... Okay, so they do actually have some peasant bombs left. So I think at this point, uh, 
these Hyle forces, they are allowed to just kind of sit there and take fire as long as they're in an open field, which they are. And actually, the Pelicanus Knights um, shatter getting too close to these units. Um, not... I mean, it's definitely good for the Hyle's as the Royal Hippogriff Knights are getting a charge in and quickly trying to pull out um, before they are able to get collapsed on. I think if they had... Uh, actually, the Peasant Mobs are waving. I'm not even sure if they would have been able to make it back in. But now Albrecht does um, land in as well, getting a nice hit. This is where you would really want to see that wind spell. Uh, it would just pretty much break the line of the entire Hyle forces. And I don't think... I think it's a, uh, only two charges on that ability uh that we shall see as the mountain yeoman uh they also don't need to be charging in right now uh just i mean the hippogriff knights i think are pretty much would take care of all of this they do have terror i believe uh yes they do so they have terror and so does albrick and yeah that is going to be our game and bretonia will take it a nice comeback win which definitely looked like it was in the favor of the high elves for the longest time uh, they were actually able to get some really good engagements early on. Uh, the Fireborn able to pick apart uh, probably pretty much half of the Bretonian forces without taking like any damage. They were able to get healed up, um, and they were able to stay protected long enough uh, to really benefit from all the support that they had, and were able to clean up a lot of the Bretonian cavalry. And of course, I mean, the High Elf infantry was with leagues better than the infantry that Bretonia brought. The Bretonia forces were pretty much just to uh, hold everything back and let the um, pretty much the cavalry get all their rear charges in. But yeah, it really came down to the separation that Bretonia was able to get on the three um, hero characters of the High Elves, and that really just put the nail in the coffin. Uh, I think if they were able to stay with the rest of their infantry, that would have been a very different story to tell. Uh, but that was a very close match. A lot of back and forth there. And that will be our game, though. And I hope you all enjoyed the video. And as always, have a good one.